Welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today I am making Crazy Coconut and I'm going to be using three colors. These are all from Nurture Soap. I have Mimosa Yellow, Orange Vibrance, and Proud Peacock. And I'm going to also do white. I think I might do orange as the base for something different. I always do white base, most always, so I thought I'd change it up. Um, I may or may not pipe on the top. I haven't decided. I may just do some swirls. Um, but let's go ahead and get started.
welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and cook a uh, crazy coconut. And I do think it will, it might, the white might discolor a little bit to like a beige because it does have some vanillin in it. Um, it seems like any co coconut soap that I have ever made does that. So if you guys, or if you're a soaper and you know of a coconut fragrance that doesn't discolor and that stays strong, let me know. This one, this one tends to, you know, stick the fragrance, but it does discolor a little bit. That's a weird swirl. I expected the orange to be a little bit brighter, but it's more of a peach. I realized on the last video on the raspberry rose video, I don't know where the swirls are. There's plenty in the side or in the end loaf. Um, I started telling, I was like, I have a funny duck story. And then my throat, um, I have to clear my throat because we have so much pollen. So I started talking about the pollen. I forgot to tell about the ducks. Um, we already have baby ducks outside. They've been out there for like a week, but they're on the other side of the pond, like directly across from our house on the other side. And I can't get them to come over here, although I'm glad she's kind of staying out of the water because they are so tiny. I try to get the binoculars and the it's not that big, but I tried to get the binoculars so I could see how many there were. And they're just so tiny and they move so fast. You can't even tell. I couldn't tell. But I don't want them in the water because the, the fish, I know there's bass in there and there's these um, snapping turtles. My husband, when we were fishing once, caught one and it had talons on it. It was the scariest looking turtle I've ever seen. And I know it's probably not the only one in there. So I think that's what happened to my hoppy with him losing his foot. I think a turtle got him when he was swimming and makes me sad but that's it just one group of baby ducks for right now the nest out front i don't remember if i mentioned this in another video that has 14 eggs in it right by our front door she has abandoned it she hasn't been there in days and we have several females out here so i'm not sure which if it's one of them I, i'm a little confused because she was sitting on it right along and then all of a sudden just abandoned it then a nest out back here that was in our azalea bushes there was five eggs in there and there was a female that would go sit on those too and then one day i went out and the eggs are kind of scattered in the yard and they were broke open and they just you could see the yolk or whatever in them and so it's like they she abandoned that one up too i'm like i don't know what's going on if they laid them too early or what the deal is but I love that swirl. That's so pretty. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.